So Jammer, a good win at the weekend and a very tough place to go. The boys must have been delighted to get a first win up there since 2010. Yeah, I think it was. Uh, it meant a lot to a lot of lads. I think especially the lads that have played at Sale before. You know, it's um, it's a tough place to go and to come away with a bonus point was uh, was a real big positive for the squad. And I think Dan Robson alluded after the game you know, that could really be the kickstart of our season. And you know, hopefully we can um, take that positivity into Friday night. And despite the bonus point when there are still plenty of things to work on for this week, aren't there? Yeah, massively. You know, I think we've not had a complete performance this year. When we actually look back at the tape, attacking-wise, we weren't particularly good. Defensive-wise, it was more our hard work that got us out of problems rather than us actually solving them as a good defensive system. So the positives are that you know we've won a game with a bonus point away from home, and you know the negatives or the things that we can work on it is exciting, really, because it means that you know there is a lot more to come from the squad. And another very tough place to go at the weekend. Uh, Newcastle on Friday night doesn't get any easier, does it? <laughs> no, it's, um, it's probably two of your toughest away games. Um, you know, it's a long way up there, but you know, it's, it's an exciting challenge. And you know, I think over the last three or four years, we've had some cracking games against them. And I think you know, Friday will be another good one. Um, you look at the form they've brought over the last sort of 12, 24 months. They've been a team that's really improved. And you look at top four last year; they deserve to be there. And you know, they're another threat again this year. And they showed against Exeter last week how tough they can make it for visiting teams. Denying the Chiefs a try bonus point for the first time this season, it's going to be tough, isn't it? Yeah, and I think if you look at Exeter's tries, it was two driving malls and a pick and go, which is something they're renowned for. It wasn't really through them creating stuff through clean breaks or you know fantastic interplay. So, you know, we know the challenges ahead. You know, we know have to be we have to be at our best attacking wise, and uh, we'll see where we get to. And for you personally, where do you think the game we won or lost on the weekend? What are those key battle areas going to be? Um, Obviously, being in the pack, you know, you look at their team. They're they're a big physical pack. They're a well drilled pack. They've got a lot of um, lads that are probably underrated around the Premiership, but are actually you know quality players. And I think if we can get things right there, then it, you know we're halfway to winning the game. But you know, it's a big challenge all around. And it'd be nice to go into the game back at the Rico against Gloucester with two good away wins and start to build some momentum for the season. Yeah, definitely. I think if we can come out of that that six game block and and be more wins than losses, then. It really sets us up nicely going into those Europeans, but you know, we know the challenge starts this weekend. Good luck on Friday. Thank you very much.